fun to be a part of a game like that and be a part of a team like this. And now we got one more to go, so we're excited. Congratulations, Ryan. Thanks, Scott. Good luck in uh, next week. Thanks. Um, let me get first off your thoughts just on uh, the way that you guys kept Ruisi from being part of this game. Uh, just took him out of it for the most part. Uh, yeah. And then I'll have another question after. Yeah, from top to bottom, I think everybody came to play. There wasn't a weak spot. Our, our lines were aggressive. Everybody was stepping. Uh, I think Ilya led the charge on a lot of that. When he steps, it pushes our back line to step with him. It pushes our, uh, you know, our eights to, to step ahead of him. And so uh, that being a part of our game plan and making sure they had no time on the ball, I think was huge. They're, they're a team that wants to play. And so every time they looked up, we had two, three guys chasing them down. They, they didn't know what to do with it. And so it uh, put us in a really good spot. I also wanted to get your thoughts on Elia and what he's brought to this team. It seems that a lot of what you guys do, it all kind of circles around him. Yeah, I love that guy. Uh, it's been a joy uh, and an honor playing with him. Uh, he's just, he's one of the best human beings you'll, you'll get to be around on and off the field. Uh, the guy leaves it all on the field every week. He's, he's not one of the guys that you have to question, you know, if he's going to show up on a, any given game day, he's there every single time. And then on top of that, he's the first one after the game shaking hands, saying hi, uh, interacting with the fans. So uh, it's been it's been a joy to be his teammate. Right. Congratulations so, uh, on the thanks, victory. Uh, two parts. Uh, first part, you kind of led the charge talking about how great it would be to make MLS Cup going through the opportunities for revenge against the Galaxy, against Austin. Can you just talk about how good it feels to fulfill uh, that goal and then talk about what it'll take to maintain that same type of intensity given that regardless of the MLS Cup opponent there isn't that history. Yeah, there's uh you know, there's always chatter and in, in the league and, and media is trying to make it a story and so everybody throughout the week was talking about Austin beating us twice in, in the regular season and so to be able to put uh, not just a win but just such a dominant performance like that today on them when it matters, I think there was definitely a chip on our shoulder. I think the guys felt that, uh, you know, comments they're making about us being afraid to play them, things like that. Uh, and so to have the performance we had, I think, in, in a lot of ways is to, to combat those sort of narratives and those those headlines. Um, now going into the cup, I'm not sure who we're going to see. Uh, we I don't think anybody on the team is hoping one way or the other, but with the way that it's been going, it would be pretty fitting for it to be the union and, and play against the team that we are fighting for the supporter shield with all, all year long. So um, we've gotten what we've asked for and we've come and performed. And so uh, we'll be ready, whoever the opponent is on Saturday, we'll be ready for it. And the second question, uh, unrelated, um, just talk about the back line's effort in today's shutout victory. Obviously, Sinclair was unavailable for injury. Keely came out for precautionary reasons on behalf. Just talk about what it took to Man, it was uh, it was a special performance from the back line, and and it was a privilege to be a, a part of of the the four back there. Uh, Giorgio in the first half, I mean, just absolutely dominated Gite and just had him in his pocket all game long. The guy didn't have a touch that was meaningful in the first forty five minutes, and that's because of a guy like Giorgio just throwing him off his game. Uh, and you've seen Gite play in, in the MLS all year long. He can use his body and throw people off and just disrupt back lines. And having a, a star like Chiellini come in and just lock a guy like that down, uh, he, he didn't know what to do and didn't know how to respond. And that was special to watch. I was on the other side, right? You got Murray in between me and him. So every time the ball was going to him for a challenge, I was on the other side kind of just watching. <laughs> and it was, uh, man, I couldn't help but just smile and laugh a couple times because uh, he, he just did not know what to do. Giorgio was just on top of him. Uh, I think the sub, I wasn't a part of kind of why the sub happened, but uh, Seb came in and just was stellar. Like I've been saying, you know, all year long we've got the the greatest depth at center back in this league we've got guys coming off the bench that should be starters on any other team in this league and Seb showed again why he's uh why he's here and so necessary for our squad he stepped in just like nothing had changed and uh the domination it just kept kept coming with him in there so uh again special to be a part of a group like that Good. hi congrats thanks um Ilya said that 
once the match started, you basically forgot it was a championship match. I don't know what it was like for you, but I guess that speaks to your preparation and sort of, and, and maybe the makeup of this team. Um, what was it like for you, and, and how do you expect you guys will experience uh, the next week? Yeah, I think that uh, he says that because once the whistle blows, we're just focused on the task at hand. And it, there's something, too, about playing here at the bank with the 32-52 that the whistle blows, the, the dolly starts, and you just feel like you're at home, like like nobody's going to come in here and take it from us. And uh, and, and so there's, there's that confidence there, and I think that's what he's talking about. Um, I think, though, where, where – where I want to take it to the next level is you could see just the intensity that we played with. And we've had this same squad basically for the entire year and uh, uh, minus a, a piece or two. And and there's been moments where we've showed up or not showed up or been on the front foot or not been on the front foot and, and still been able to dominate in a lot of ways. But tonight it was like, I mean, they just couldn't even breathe. Like there wasn't a moment that you felt like they had control of the game throughout 90 minutes. and so. Um, it was it was cool to see the intensity of it being a Western Conference final, of it being the playoffs, where everybody came to to play and, and came with everything they had, and uh, and you could you could see it from the start. I yeah, I've got two more for you. Yeah. Uh, just uh, with the uh, thirty-two fifty-two and the rhythm that they have that's going, because they they kind of build up this rhythm that's just yeah. going the whole game. Yeah. Does that? inform some of your play is that something you get into or is it something that you know it's there because in when you're in the game you're not hearing so much oh no if it, it fuels us we're hearing all of it and it fuels us every time uh i mean you can you can hear the uh the emotion of the crowd when we you know put chicho through on a on a run on goal or we put denny through uh the crowd you know gets up on their feet you can feel it you can sense it you can hear it all of that and we feed off that. It's it's huge for us, and I think for uh, opposing teams coming into the bank and having to deal with that, you've got Denny running at you one v one, and you've got the bank screaming at you. Uh, hard to hard to keep a level head, and I think it shows uh, in the way that we dominated. Have you ever played before a fan base where that that impact? Place. No, no, nothing, nothing like this. I mean, this is special what the 3252 does here. Uh, the only thing I can compare it to, honestly, is playing here in the past with other teams. And when I've come here, you know, when I was on Dallas coming here and playing, it's the only time uh, that I've felt something, and it's the same supporters group doing the same thing. So, Not, it didn't feel the same in Portland. Uh, Portland, yeah, Portland has a good a good squad. I think there's a couple there's a couple places in uh, in the league that I think have a good supporters uh, group, but I I I don't think they even come close to matching what the thirty two fifty two does. Thirty two fifty two is just special in so many ways, um, and and maybe it's the the stadium, maybe it's something about the the turf there that throws throws it off, but. Uh, for me, the 32-52 is in a league of their own. Well, that's on the second goal, you did get a piece of that. I flicked it. Yeah, I flicked it. I touched it, but it wasn't. It wasn't going on goal. It you, was. You were trying to get it to Rudy. So. I was trying to play it off of Rudy's shoulder or head or whatever it hit. So, <laughs> yeah, worked out well. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, Ryan, Max, congratulations on the on the game over here to your right. Um, Ryan, you mentioned there's moments where. Uh, the team hasn't necessarily come out on fire, and you still come out on top. But this game, clearly, you did. And I've asked the other players, you know, was that a product of something you felt in the locker room? Both Kellen and Eli talked about, you know, this was something that we built up during the week. We felt like we were to come out. Did you feel that as well? When did you realize that you guys were all cylinders going uh, for this match? Yeah, there's for for me and and this group. We've known from the start of the season that when we play our best football, nobody can match us. And the league is long, the season's long, there's ups and downs. You know, there's moments where your legs aren't feeling 100%. I would say there's a lot of moments like that. There's moments you have a knock here or there. There's moments that you just don't get up for a game in the same way. And I think all that gets scratched when it's playoff time. Everybody shows up ready to go. And today was just everybody at their peak, right? Everybody focused mentally 100%. Everybody physically ready 100%. And when you have that and you put that together with the talent that we have, uh, I think the result of today is, is what you see. So uh, for us... A big thing, though, is not getting lackadaisical with it and showing up next week with the exact same mentality because 
if we do, I think that we're we're close to impossible to beat.